Hello. 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 Hello, can you guys hear me? Good evening. Hey, can you see my screen clearly? Yes. <laughs> okay, so good evening, everybody. Hey, welcome to this week's um, Forex Outlook with um, Great White FX. So we're going to be covering some major pairs, but before we start that, let's look at what the economic calendar has for next week. So we might have a very dull London and Euro session on Monday. We have pound bank holiday, French bank holiday, Tuesday, basically nothing. Wednesday, we have some high impact USD news. Thursday, rates news on pound. And also on USD and Friday. So Monday, Tuesday might be a little bit calm, no major movement. So let's go over the pairs we're going to be looking at. We're going to be looking at US 100, dollar index, Euro USD, GBP USD, gold, Euro GBP, GBP CHF, pound yen, and Euro yen. So thank you so much of your time. Let's. So we're going to start off with this pair from the weekly as the NASDAQ. This pair is bullish. Although it's within a major bearish range, um, from this point to this point, that's the dealing range. But if you look at this point, price is making, there's a change in character here. So looking back at this, this pair is bullish, but it's at this imbalance here. It's an imbalance here. Is this imbalance here, and that's where price has been battling. So if we go down now to the daily, we can see that that's where price is at the moment now. So looking at this pair from the daily, let's go down to the four. What I would say on this pair is we need something like this, a move higher, and a retest of this area then for the continuation. Because it needs a good close above this volume imbalance to act as a support to continue to the upside. So this pair is bullish as long as it stays above this level here. So, but once we have something like this, then you'll be looking at, sorry. Should price drop from this point, you get something like this, then you're going to see something like this. Well, for now, for now, this pair is still tilted to the upside. The bias is still tilted to the upside on this pair. As you can see, there's been an expansion, a retracement, and this expansion is still tilted here. So we might see a bit of a retracement, which may sweep this low. There's a possibility it may sweep this low because this is still the dealing range. On the four hour, this is your dealing range. This is your dealing range on the four hour. So we might see price drop sweep this low here that's at 12936 and oh. then continue back to the upside are we all on the same page hello can you guys still hear me sure. okay then the next one we're going to be looking at is the dollar index the dollar index is let's start from the daily This pair is bearish. On the daily, is bearish. If we go into the four-hour time frame, we can see that this pair 
is basically in a consolidation of sorts. And that consolidation range is between is between this high and this low. So if we pull back our candles, this is what basically we have on price. This is basically what we have on price. So now going down to what we have here, we have what looks like, let's go back to daily. We have um, this low here and this low here. But if we look to the left here, we can see that this is a bullish order block. And see, so this is a bullish order block. So if we extend this also, here, here, and here, you can see that this is where price is sitting. But this pair is still bearish. So what do we, what are we looking at on this pair going into this week? A possibility exists that it depends on how they choose to deliver price. Depends on how they choose to deliver price. We have an imbalance here. We have an imbalance here. If we go to the daily, this um, fair value gap here, price has moved into it and got rejected. <clears throat> so if we look at this from now, from the four hour time frame, two things here. If price on Monday does not do this, does not go down on Monday, then it may run for this imbalance here. And then you might have something like this. That's what we might see on Monday. We might see a little bit of a rally. Maybe sweep this high and then drop. Or, as depends on what they decide to do. You know, we have something that looks like equal lows here. They may decide to sweep it. If they sweep it and come back like this, then you're going to see something like this. So that's what we have on dollar index now. It's in a range. It's in a bearish. It has a bearish dealing range, but it's in a consolidation. So as you can see, we have this low here and we have this low here. So that points that they may try to push price up before bringing price back down. Well, I'm thinking that they might try to gun for this imbalance here. They've not come to that area. So for DXY, DXY is still bearish. But we might see a little bit of a rally into the new week and then before a continuation back to the downside. The next one we're going to be looking at is the Euro USD. We'll start from the daily on this pair. If we look at this pair on the daily, we can see that this pair is bullish. It's in a bullish range. We have this low, we have this high. This low took out this high and this high. Then there was a retracement and a sharp move back up. So this pair on the daily is bullish. And we'll go down to the far. But if we come down to the far, we're going to see a not so pleasant range. This pair is basically in a range on the far. But the daily range on the far is between this point and I'll say these equal highs here. These equal highs here. So if I pull back the candles, this is what we have on this pair. So this pair is in between a range. This pair is in between a range. So this is what I think they may do. If I were to be a broker, I'll try to cause pain first. So I'm going to sweep here and then rally back up. If I were to be a broker, that's what basically I might do. Because, you know, the, like I said on the dollar index, like I said on the dollar index, this dollar index has, a, has the ability to rally a bit. And if that is going to happen, if the dollar index is going to rally, then that would mean that we might see this drop a bit, at least maybe sweep this lose. Because if you look at this, we have this low, we have this low, we have this low. It might even sweep this one oh. 909 it might sweep it but it will continue to the upside as long as basically this 1.8331 remains on 
touched. As if they don't close below it, then this pair will still continue to the upside. And if it's going to continue to the upside, what are the upside targets? Let's go to the daily. We have this high here. We have this high here. As we have this point here. That is um, 1.1184. That might be upside target should the bullish continuation, that should the up move continue. That will be our first upside target. So for the Euro USD, it's still bullish, but I might see, but currently in a range. So we'd wait to see what the dollar index does before we decide for the Euro USD. So the next one we're going to be looking at is GBP USD. This pair is still is very bullish for now. Very, very bullish. I think basically it's eyeing 126.67 as where it has its sights on. Then if that they get takes, if this gets taken out, then you have fair value gaps lined up here all the way to probably up here. So GBP USD is bullish going into the new week. As we can see, there's already a break in market structure here. So the possibility that we might see a little bit of a retracement exists. We might see it because if the dollar index starts to rally, this may retrace a bit. So if it should start to retrace, what will be your dealing range? Your dealing range is going to be this low to the swing high it makes at this point. So you'll be waiting for price to come down to either the equilibrium as if this um, 1.2652 remains on Monday, then you'll be looking at something like this. You'll be waiting to see if price will come down to this 50% or this discount for the continuation back, for the rally back up towards probably this high because it's very close to this point. This point, that's um, 1.2667. Price is very, very close to it. So I think if price doesn't hit it on Monday, maybe drops on Monday, then that means that it might form the low of the week on Tuesday, then gone up for that high from Wednesday, Thursday into Friday. So that's it for the GBP USD. The GBP USD is still very bullish. Then the next one we're going to be looking at is gold. Gold took out a major high that's 2075.14 as a very very long term high and then pulled back this pair is still bullish it's not yet bearish it would only go bearish if you have something like this That's the only time this pair is going to go bearish. But for now, this pair is still heavily bullish. So going into the new week, what is the game plan? So looking at this pair, I would say the dealing range is between, because the close proximity, because you can see there are lots of liquidity below this level. But I will just take this point to this point. That's where I would say we we'll look at. Or to be a little bit conservative, this low here. We can see that price is back within this range that it broke out of. Price is back within this range that it broke out of as between here. You can see as where price is to this point. So if we go back to candles, this is what we have on price. So the possibility exists that we may see something like this then the continuation to this upside. First, one thing I know is that price is going to come for this high. Because of this week, this big week is what she would call a fair value gap. So from, from um, the body of the week here, so this high. So first, Price may come for this point, then the 50% that comes in at 2630. 
as if the rally should continue. This will be your first levels of exits, partials, then before it goes back up to 1.2081. So for gold, gold is still bullish. Gold is still bullish. You'll be looking to buy, you'll be looking for longs on this pair back towards 2054, 2063, and 2081. So the next pair we're going to be looking at is EuroGBP. This pair has been in a very, very interesting range. Let's go to the monthly time frame. So we'll go to the monthly time. No, no, let's use the weekly. We we'll use the weekly time frame. We we'll use the weekly time frame. We can basically see that it's not very clear on the weekly. If I go to the daily, it's going to be very clear. You can basically see it. this is what you have with price on the daily. So we had this low, we had this high. So price has just been in a range. And on Friday, price took out 18, 87, 18. Let me pull back my candles and see that price took out that level, but it didn't close below it. So that points to the fact that this might be liquidity hunt, and then we might see a little bit of a retracement. If we go down to the four hour time frame, we have a bearish range for now. We have a bearish range on this pair for now. We have a high low this and this so but given that price has swept this level 87 18 this is what i think that we may see we may see something like this little bit of a retracement and then a continuation back to the downside this pair is bearish as long as 83 35 remains so if you see any move that takes above 83.35, then you're going to see something like this. With something like this, that takes you above 83.35, then any correction could be a continuation back to the upside. So that's what we're looking at on this pair. But for now, going into the new week, this pair is going to retrace. It's going to retrace because it has swept 87, and that is um, the low from March. Uh, we can see it's the low so far for this year. So it has swept it. It's going to retrace a bit. How high, I can't see. But if you're using the daily, you're going to have something like this from this high to this low. So this will be the daily range on the daily. If you drop to the four-hour time frame, this will be your range on the four hour. So that's what you have. So this pair might retrace going into the new week before we look for a continuation back to the downside. And if you notice, just like I always say, this EuroGBP is very, very important. Even if you don't trade it, it's very important you look at it because if you look at GBP USD, you see the way GBP USD moved. Then if you look at Euro USD, you see the way Euro USD is because of the weakness of the euro against the pound. So the next pair we're going to be looking at is GBPCHF. So looking at this pair, let's go to the daily. Uh, this pair is in a kind of a range, but it seems to be trying to move to the upside. If I remove this, we have something that looks like a breaker here. Price dipped in very, very low. That's a change of character here. Above this um, 1.1192. Then the price didn't close that much above 1250. 1.1250 didn't close very much above it. But for now, we can say that this pair is in a bullish retracement. This is the dealing range, this high on the daily to this low. So this price is in a dealing is in a retracement. So if we go to the four hour time frame, the possibility is, is that this may retrace to fill in this imbalance. 
then price may continue back to the upside, probably towards um, this high, this high, then one, then probably this imbalance here, this four hour fair value gap here. This four hour fair value gap here. So for now, this pair is bullish. We might see a bit of a retracement filling in this imbalance and then continue back to the upside. Because as you can see, we have a bullish order block here. It's not very clear on the one hour time frame. Let me see if I can get it on the four hour time frame. These two down candles here. So if price comes back down into this area, this would be a good opportunity for a long. This will be a good opportunity for a long. So the next one we're going to be looking at is, uh, let's go to the yen basket. We're going to look at the yen basket to give us an insight of what we expect going into the new week for the yen pair. So if we look at this pair, go back everything, remove the candles, and see that this pair is bearish. We have a bearish range on this pair. We have this, we have this, we have this. So. This in and of itself is a bearish range. So if we pull back the candles, you can see we've already had the retracement. We've already had the retracement. So if we go into the four hour time frame, the question now is how is price going to play out going into the four hour time frame? I believe we may see a little bit of a retracement, then a continuation back to the downside. That's what I believe we may see. You might see a little bit of a retracement, then a continuation back to the downside for the yen. That's for that yen weakness. But as long as 8012 remains, this pair might still drop. So based on that knowledge, we're going to go to the pound yen. This pair is still bullish. It's still very, very bullish for now. If we go to the daily and see that it's very bullish. 72.13 liquidity has been taken. It didn't close above it. It just spiked it. Now, if you look at this, you could see the bullish range here. We have this, we have this, and we have this. So there's a possibility this may retrace and then continue back to the upside. So if we have that at the back, then you see we already have a bit of a retracement. Then if we go down to the four hour time frame on the daily, sorry, on the daily, price is at a fair value gap here and here. So this is not a nice location to take a long. So all you wait to do is to see if price will retrace a bit probably because on this four hour, you still have some imbalances here, probably retrace a bit into this area and then continue back to the upside. So for this pair, this pair is still bullish. The same with um, the Euro Yen. The Euro Yen is still bullish. If the Euro GBP starts to rally, then this pair is going to really move very hard to the upside. It's because you can already see it's within this bullish shutter block. Eh? It's within this bullish shutter block. So if the move starts, we might see price rally up towards this point or this point because it's within this bullish order block. Eh? So let's range that out here. So if we drop down to the four hour time frame, this is what we have. So going into the new week, and already there's a range here. There's a four hour range candle. That's what do I mean by a range candle? That's a candle that has within its body other candles. You understand? So if we look at this, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven candles within this four hour range. So your signal that this up move is going to start is when you have a break above here, something like this, then a continuation. So that's what you'll be looking forward to going into the new week. So 
Let me retrace it back again. The Euro GBP is Euro Pound, Euro Yen. We have a bullish bias on that. Pound Yen, bullish bias on that. GBPCHF, bullish, but we may see a retracement before a continuation. Euro GBP is bearish, but it has taken sell side liquidity, which may cause it to bounce a bit. Gold is still bullish. GBP USD bullish. Euro USD bullish, but in a consolidation. The dollar index bearish, but in a consolidation. The NASDAQ bullish, but at a volume imbalance on the daily. So that sets it. Do I have any questions before we call it tonight? Any questions or anybody, any pair you want me to look at before we call it tonight? All right. Uh, great. Good, good evening. Good evening. Who am I speaking with? This is Sifan on the line. Okay. 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 So um, can, can you revisit um, gold? Let me look at, let's look at, look at one or two things. Okay, gold, 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 gold. So look at gold. Okay. Okay. You spoke you, um, you, you spoke about a bullish bias on this. As long as it stays above one nineteen sixty eight. There's okay. always a line in the sand above here. Okay. Because this, if you notice, let me pull back my because annotation. I I, I felt I felt like um, the oh, hold on. Let's see the candle. Wait, the wait. candles are still. No, the candles. Most times, to me, the candles might just give you a wrong view. You get. I so understand. what I normally I use is I use the range. If you look at this, we have a break of market structure at twenty forty eight. Exactly. We have so this is a retracement after taking a multi-year high. Now, this is a retracement back into this range. This was the consolidation before this expansion to the upside. So if price does not break this range low, it's still bullish. If this range low doesn't give way, this pair is still going to try 2081. Worst case, you will have it go for 2063. Because if I were to be a broker, what is everybody doing on gold now? They are selling it. Are you there, sir? Hello? Hello? I'm here. I just have to mute so that uh, I don't form the background noise. Okay, this is everybody is selling gold, and everybody that is selling, where is their stop loss here? Their stop loss is already here. So if this is going to cause pain, he's already taking this low here. Everybody's selling; they've already got to this two o seven here. This most likely will come for everybody here. Then it is when it comes to this point that you now start looking for an inference. How what it does here will then tell you the next line of action. Because this loop is going to cause a bit of a retracement. But we can't see the only thing we do is we respond to what the market does. But for this pair now, this pair is still bullish as long as it stays above 1968. Any other question? Is there any other pair anybody will want me to look at? So for this pair, if you're going to trade this pair, this is what you'll be watching out for. This is what you'll be watching out for. You'll be watching out for something like this. Maybe this will come down, break this um, 20, um, 18.71, then probably a continuation like this. Any other question before we call it a night? Any questions or anybody to any pair you want me to look at that I didn't look at? Okay, so no further questions. So I wish everybody a beautiful night's sleep and a blessed trading Thank week. You. Okay, good night, Thank everybody. You. Thank you.